no, no, it's not a wolf. It's just your display bay who gets you paid. Sarah Priebus, don't be scared. I'm here to help. Welcome to our live pre-show that's happening right before trivia every single weeknight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern from New York City, baby. And there's no werewolves in New York City, at least I hope. But there is a full moon tonight, so definitely get outside, maybe during this show, and check it out. Let me know what your sky looks like through a photo. That's right, I wanna see your October sky. Take a photo, post it to display, hashtag my October sky, and maybe I'll share it tomorrow on the show. It's the perfect excuse to take a photo of your sky today. Also, it's Wednesday, and on Wednesdays we wear pink. So much is happening. Apparently there's a meteor shower happening tonight, which you can see up until dawn tomorrow morning, the Orionid meteor shower. It's supposed to be spectacular, so get outside, see that, document it. It's always better through a screen, right? And let me know how that goes. Hey everyone, who is hanging with me tonight? Let's check out the chat. Let's scope out the stuff. What's up, Houdat Nation? I always love that you are the first one to say hi. It makes me feel supported, I'm not gonna lie. Who else have we got here? Yes, Marcio has been tuning in every single day as well. It's so good to see you. Oh, Langley says mosquitoes love me though. They love me too. What is the blood type that they're after? Let me know in the chat. Always, that would be a great trivia question, right? What blood type are mosquitoes most drawn to? I don't know if that's a myth or it's science, but maybe you do, so throw it down there. Where are we all watching from? Where are we tuning in from? I know we got New Jersey in the house. I know we have people from Brazil and all over the place. It's always fun to check in and see where we're all hanging, what we're all eating, how we're all feeling. Are there any newbies in the house? I always like to gauge. Do we, are we display veterans? Do we know how this app works? Or do we have anybody who's just stumbled on in here and they're like, I've never used this thing before. Tell me how it's done. Tell me what's your level of displaying from one to 10, 10 being an expert, you are an expert. You know everything there is to know about display at this point. One, you literally somehow downloaded this app. You're still not sure how you got it. And here you are. What is your level of displaymanship? It's not a word, I'm making up words tonight. This is amazing. All right, we've got Jenny Girl X, kind of new, need some tips, I'm a three to four. We got a five in the house. We have people who have been here since the olden days, yes. Fours and sevens and sixes. Okay, we're kind of all over the place. I love that nobody said they're a 10. We're modest friends, we are so humble. We love to see it. Well, I'm a 10 in the looks department. <laughs> in the display department, who knows? I like to say that I am here to educate, but frankly, sometimes y'all educate me. So if I say anything right now and you know more than me, let me know, I'm always happy to hear that. So let's start with the basics, right? We got some people who are kind of newish. This is the social that pays. That's what this is all about. It's about getting content creators or anyone who's posting money for taking the time to post, right? Not taking all of that money from the ad revenue that's generated on your content, actually giving you back a percentage of the ad revenue, which is super cool. It's a 50-50 split, that's how it works, and there's a couple ways you get to see that money. So, right, the first thing is dividends. This is pretty straightforward. You're scrolling through your timeline, you're scrolling through your feed, Every three posts, you're gonna see an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display, 50% to the three creators who posts appear above it, okay? That's the first way that you earn through those dividends. The second way that you earn is through the support me button. This is a super cool feature. I love the support me button. I've been using it a lot lately to say thank you to all of my favorite creators who are making incredible stuff. And I'll show you some of them later on tonight. So. Basically, you see a post, it's another creator's post, there's one of mine. Basically, you have the like button, you have the comment, you have the share, those are great ways to say thank you and to say that you like someone's post. But even better, in my opinion, is the support me button. Yes, because if you click that support me button on someone else's post, you're going to watch an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display, 50% to the creator whose content that you just supported. So instead of taking out your wallet, instead of saying, here's a dollar, you literally pay them with your time. It's that simple. It's taking 30 seconds out of your day to say thank you. Which sometimes, honestly, it takes me 30 seconds to write a comment. So why not just hit the support me button instead and get them paid, right? Okay, here's the third way, right? We're keeping it simple tonight that you can get paid to be here on display. Inviting your friends. Not just so that you have cool people that you're bringing on the app that you're excited about, it's actually because you get a 10% referral bonus for a lifetime when you bring people on display. 
Now it doesn't come out of your friend's cut, it comes out of display's cut. So let's say you invite a person, they set up their profile, okay? You have to use your unique invite link to get credit for this. So make sure you're not just using word of mouth, you're generating a link and sending it to them, right? Then you can share that through contacts or you can text it to them. You can share it on your other social media profiles. There's so many options. You can generate a QR code. Yes, we are high tech here on display, of course. And that way, if they use your code to set up a profile, you'll get credit for that. And if they're posting and they're making money, that means you're getting paid too. So hang out with your friends and also get paid for bringing your friends here. And plus, I mean, we have trivia later for $1,000. So it's a very easy excuse right now to send out a text and say, hey, I'm playing trivia, it's free, we're hanging out. Also, like, I'm hanging out with this cool girl named Sarah right now who apparently knows a lot about full moons and uh, meteor showers. Maybe you wanna come hang. Get them in here during a commercial break or something. Speaking of which, let's take one. Let's see where everyone's at in the chat and we'll be right back. Bienvenidos a Display TV. We did it. Guys, welcome to Cusco. Estamos en la hermosa ciudad de Mérida. Delicioso. Un agua chile de camarón. I mean, seriously though, do you see all these people saying hi to each other in the chat? How cool is this? This is the most supportive community on social media. I am telling you, I recognize people that are tuning in every night. We've got new people here. This is so great. I love what China Thug said. Passive income is where it's at. That's that's the thing. You're already taking posts, you're already taking photos of a lot of your stuff, I imagine, right? Sometimes you cook a meal that you're proud of, you snap a photo, right? Sometimes you're like, oh, well, that's a pretty flower. You snap a photo. Why not take that photo, upload it to display? Bam, make a little passive income while you're at it. Get yourself a cup of coffee, right? That stuff adds up, I love it. Okay, I see someone asking about a question that we had a while ago, which makes me laugh. So if you're here for the trivia, you're in the right spot too, because we are gonna give away a trivia answer in just a second for tonight's game. We're playing for $1,000 tonight if you haven't joined us before, but yeah, I love that somebody is remembering that one question. It starts easy, folks. If you haven't joined us before, it starts really easy. You can play along. What number comes after one? That was our first question one night. So I think you can get that, right? Do you know the answer to that question? Okay, what else have we got here? Welcome, everyone. We got a lot of people joining in. This is so exciting. Hi, Taiwan. Okay, yeah, Jenny, exactly, number two. See? You're gonna have to stick around and play trivia with us. You already got the answers. So speaking of trivia, 10 questions. You're gonna have 10 seconds to answer each one. If you get them all right, you win a piece of that $1,000 prize. We're starting that at 8 p.m. Eastern. But right now, I'm going to give away an actual trivia answer. And it's question nine tonight, folks. I'm giving you the answer to question nine. Are you ready for this? First, before I just give it to you, because that, would, that wouldn't be fun. We're actually gonna ask you the question. We're gonna poll you and see what all of you think the answer is. Let's see if you would have gotten it on your own or if you needed a little bit of my help. Okay, so the question is, the shortening of these tips at the end of microscopic hereditary material is widely believed to be the cause of aging. Telomeres, chromosomes, deoxyribonucleic acid. Mm, that's always a fun one to say. Did you enjoy saying that one in science class? I always like it. I like when there's a hard word that I'm given in trivia and I actually know how to pronounce it. That is cool. That makes me feel smart. All right, let's see how y'all are faring on this here. Do you know the answer? All right, the shortening of these tips at the end of microscopic hereditary material is widely believed to be the cause of aging. Well, keep my tips long then, please, because this girl wants to say 21 forever. <gasps> okay. Y'all are looking pretty smart because the answer is in fact 
telomeres. Oh, <laughs> chromosomes slipped up there at the end. 41%, 41%. It was kind of an even split there, but I'm telling you right now, you heard it here first. The answer to question nine tonight is telomeres. So if you got that wrong there, don't worry. Now you know the right answer and you're sure to get it right tonight. So trivia, once again, we'll be starting in, let's look at my clock, 20 minutes. But for now, I've got some great content that I wanna show you that's been happening on display, showing off all the fall colors, the fall foods, the fall skylines. So when we come back, I'll be showing you some of your content. Hey, I'm Tiki Barber, former University of Virginia student athlete and also former New York Giant running back. I can't tell you how excited I am to announce the partnership between Influencer and Display. So what's Display? Display is social that pays. This revolutionary social media app is changing the game for college athletes and now it's your turn to play. Welcome to the brand new world on social media. Welcome to Display, social that pays. Welcome to Display Tips. Let's get introduced to Profile. Tap the profile on bottom right of screen. Here you can personalize your display experience. Tap the pencil icon to edit your profile picture, cover photo, basic user info including contact, and link to your other social media accounts. Select your preferred language, identify top friends and family members. You can also create and manage your communities here. Watch for more tips on Display TV. Welcome back to the pre-show, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus, and we're all just getting ready for trivia, which is happening. And happening. You know what? We're warming up for trivia, and I'm warming up for trivia, too, right? Your host needs a pre-show to actually warm up her tongue. Peter Piper, pick a peck the pickled peppers. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting, we're getting to it. Okay, the other thing that we're getting to right now is some of your content, right? Because display is about the content. The content gets you paid here on display. I just went over some of the reasons why. If you're just joining us and you missed it and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't know that you get paid to post on display. Well, tune in to the pre-show tomorrow and find out exactly how, but it's really pretty straightforward. If you are posting on display, you will make money. Now, I'm also noticing there's a lot of people in the chat right now, which I'm grateful for, very happy you're all here, but without profile pictures, what's happening? Why are you hiding your faces? I wanna to get to know you better. I need to see, if you don't wanna show your face, that's fine. Show us, I don't know, a flower that you photographed, choose something. But especially if you're playing trivia later, you definitely need to have a completed profile along with the photo, along with posting on display in order to get paid. So make sure you got that stuff set up during our next commercial break if that's something you haven't completed just take the extra minute upload a photo from your camera roll and bam you're good to go but also that really helps me know who i'm talking to i start to recognize some of you from your profile pictures so yeah choose one hey everyone hey chi relity hey marita welcome welcome i love that they said but i'm not nearly as pretty as you sarah that's so i'm sure you are i'm sure you're but i want to see your face I want to see your face or I want to see the photographs, your food, whatever, your pet's face. It doesn't matter. Just choose a photo, any photo. In fact, I'm going to show you some photos of people. They're not of people, but they're photos that people are taking right now and that they've been posting on display. So we're going to start with one of my favorite subjects ever, which is food. Yum. Okay. Good thing I ate before this. So autumn eats. This is something that's floating around. There's a bunch of hashtags that people are sort of using. They're originating in communities, but you can just use this hashtag, tag your favorite fall eat. Maybe it's a pumpkin spice donut. Maybe it's a apple cider. I don't know, whatever you like to eat in the fall. Maybe it's you making something and tagging the recipe. I would love to see that. And then use autumn eats. There's also a couple other hashtags you can use. You can use 31 days. You can use hello October. These are all ways to get your content noticed because people are taking a look at these hashtags and therefore going in and supporting your content. So let's take a look at two autumn eats. Mmm, Kathy is always posting the best photos. I love it. These are cute little witch's hats made from fudge stripes with Hershey Kisses. Adorable. We love food that looks cute and tastes good. And who doesn't love chocolate? Yum. Jenny says a full out Thanksgiving spread is number one. 
Meat too, Jenny. Side of mashed potatoes has to be there for sure. Okay, let's take a look at our next Autumn Eats photo, which is delightful. I associate this 100% with fall. Oh, a homemade apple pie. Do we have any pie people in the chat? Are you pie people or are you cake people? I love pie like the number and I love pie like the food. And I would say my favorite pie is probably my, my mom's homemade peach pie, which isn't seasonal right now. But if you're like an apple or a pumpkin person, that's, this is the season for you. Tis the season to eat pie, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, now everyone's hungry. I'm sorry, you will have an intermission before trivia starts, like five minutes to grab a snack. And if you do grab a snack, snap a picture of your snack and tag Autumn Eats and get your content notice. That's what I wanna see. I am showing all kinds of content here on Display TV, so I wanna get yours featured. Take a photo, get it up there, tag Autumn Eats. Okay, here's another October hashtag that I am loving. This is my October sky. Who doesn't love a sunset or a sky photo? This one's been floating around. I'm seeing tons of content here. So let's see what we got for hashtag my October sky. This one's an easy one, guys. I told you, full moon happening tonight. This one's by Heather King, the owl queen. How cool and creepy is this? I love it. I love the silhouette. I love the clouds. I love the crows. It is ominous, but it's also beautiful. Heather's got fantastic photos. You should absolutely go check out her work on display. She is killing it. Okay, who else have we got for my October sky? The, the cool thing is, too, you, if you're a painter, if you're a visual artist, you can even paint your sky. It doesn't have to be a photograph. Think outside the box. You could snap a boomerang, anything that you want in order to depict your sky. The idea is that we get to see skies throughout the world because we have an international audience. So it's really, really fun to see what's outside your window. Like I said, full moon tonight. Don't miss that. And a meteor shower. Okay. This is, I love this caption, watch more sunsets than Netflix by Kevin. Um, definitely, I am guilty right now of watching more Netflix than sunsets, but I'll be working on that, Kevin. Thanks for the tip. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Professor Pack said, well, last night was a full moon. I know, because I roll, oh. Wow, Professor Pack enjoyed that full moon. I'll let you read that in the chat. Professor Pack enjoyed that full moon. Okay, I'm enjoying these sunset photos on these October sky photos. So let's see what else we got. We got some more sky content. This one's so creative, right? How cute is this? These are berries. I forget the name of these, but these are gooseberries maybe? I think these are gooseberries against a sky, which again, think outside the box. Take one of your favorite fall eats and put that against the sky and then hashtag both. But this is from Judith Geshi. This is stunning. I love it. I love the creativity here. She's got a lot of great fall stuff too. Okay, I think I have one or two more October sky photos. So, oh yes, this one is from Michael Yormark. Michael is actually the head of one of our communities, which I'll show you in just a second, which is where I've been snagging these incredible photos from. So. Seychelles, oh, how lucky. He's on his honeymoon, he's in Seychelles. That is the sunset there. So yeah, looking quite tropical and no fall foliage to be found in Seychelles. So, you know, we get to see a glimpse of everything around the world. So I mentioned Michael's community. It's called World Travelin'. Communities are fantastic because you get to be with groups of like-minded people who are posting the kinds of content that you wanna see. So if you join, for instance, the World Travelin' community, right, then you actually get more traveling content in your feed because everyone posting to that community their posts are gonna show up in your feeds. You're getting more travel content. So if you're a food lover, there's a community called Foodlicious that you can check out. There's all kinds of communities for all kinds of interests. So same idea, you're gonna go into the little menu on the top left of your screen. There's gonna be a little selection that says communities and you can go in there. There's suggested communities. There's communities that people may have invited you to join. Check them out. There's fabulous content, fabulous people posting content that hopefully you're gonna be a fan of because you get to choose which communities you join. And if your content is showing up in more communities, that's additional places that you're getting paid from because it's showing up in more timelines and feeds. You see what I'm saying? More ways to earn, we love that. Okay, now when I was looking for my October sky photos, and I really hope that you post this hashtag so I can scout it for tomorrow's show, but I came across someone who was taking incredible photographs. His name is Daniel Gomoescu. He lives in Italy, okay? 
and he has like, I couldn't even choose. I, I was like, we gotta do a mini feature on Daniel right now. He is a member of DAB as well, which is the Display Advisory Board, which sort of acts as like an interim communicator between the display people, right? The people who work at display and then the creators on display. So they actually even have their own community called display tips and updates. So if you want you know, someone to actually help you through something, let's say you have a question, um, you don't wanna reach out to customer care, you actually want someone who's engaged on the app that's just another content creator, check out display tips and updates and someone there will definitely help you. But Daniel's a member of Dab. Let's take a look at some of his photos. These are, these are stunning. Look at this. Good morning, beautiful people. Autumn and his colors. I'm going to, I'm going to say Autumn's a lady, but that's just me. I don't know. Maybe, she, maybe she's not, but we'll just, we'll agree to disagree on that, Daniel. But look at that. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh. It makes me just want to go take a walk outside. Okay. Keep scrolling. Let's see what else we got from Daniel. Look at that perspective. Oh, I love it. I love the so the fact that he did the reflection in the car mirror, this is how you can be getting creative with your posts, folks. It's so great. Okay, let's see what else Daniel's got because I was truly blown away when I was scrolling through his feed. We've got this incredible, vibrant sunset. I see sky porn is quite popular as well as a hashtag if anyone's looking to get noticed or see other sunsets. There's a tie-dye sky community that I am absolutely in love with. Okay, let's see what else Daniel's got mountain and autumn colors. I mean, I could get lost in this feed. It really just transports me to another world. The blue against all of the flowers. It's so beautiful. Okay, one more from Daniel, I think. Yes, and then we've got sort of like this stormy-esque sky. I don't even know how he's taking his photos. We're gonna have to bring Daniel. We've had him on display TV in the past. We're gonna have to bring him on again just because he is so fantastic. He's so engaged in the community. He's always pasting great content. He's always getting a lot of likes, supports, shares. And one of the reasons is he's posting quality content. Another reason is that he's engaged back. You see him replying to comments on his photos. Again, he's a member of DAB, so he's helping new people on display. What other social media app literally has a group of content creators helping the content creators. I mean, I think that's fantastic. I also love that we take the time to show your content on our own television channel, Display TV. Speaking of which, there are a bunch of other shows you gotta check out. We have a travel show hosted by Evie Cisco, so that's on Wednesdays, and a show where Lauren, inter uh, Lauren Elise interviews artists on Thursdays called Harmony and Hughes. So you'll have to check those out if you're loving this format, if you wanna be a part of the Display TV experience. Yes, hi everyone just tuning in. Welcome, trivia is gonna be starting momentarily. We've already given away the answer to question nine tonight. So if you wanna be in on that tomorrow, you'll have to tune in at 7.30 p.m. Eastern before the show. We've been giving away a trivia answer and always a hard one. And then we're just hanging out, talking about how to maximize making money here on the app. And of course, showing off your incredible content. So folks, Trivia is about to get started. I encourage you to use this time to fully set up your profiles if you haven't. Maybe even go outside, snap a pic or snap a photo of your dinner, get a post up, see how that goes. That way, if you have any questions, you can come back here tomorrow, hang out with me, I can answer them. I am here to help, pretty much. And then I'm also here to entertain and give away free money, which it's just about time for. So sit back, relax, make sure you're connected to that good Wi-Fi, make sure your thinking caps are on. We'll be right back with trivia. Hey, I'm Tiki Barber, former University of Virginia student athlete and also former New York Giant running back. I can't tell you how excited I am to announce the partnership between influencer and display. So what's display? Display is social that pays. This revolutionary social media app is changing the game for college athletes and now it's your turn to play. Welcome to the brand new world on social media. Welcome to Display, social that pays.
Hello everyone! Do we have any Northern Hemisphere folks in the house tonight? Let me know in the chat! Well, you're gonna wanna get out of it. Your house, I mean. Seriously, go outside to see the Orionid meteor shower from now until right before dawn tomorrow. And I don't know about you all, but I am not really a morning person, so now is the time. Bring your phones with you. Yes, who said trivia had to be an indoor experience? Truly, this is the most impressive cosmic show in October with up to 20 meteors visible per hour, plus some equally impressive shooting stars. Speaking of stars, how are my displays doing? Are you ready to win? Yeah? Well, tonight's prize is $1,000. And here's how you can get it. You gotta answer 10 questions correctly. You have 10 seconds to tap your answers, but do choose wisely, because once you tap, there is no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but you can stay in the game and keep playing along for fun. Also fun? Setting up your display profile all the way, choosing a profile pic, posting. You need to do that to claim your winnings. So even if it's not fun for you, you gotta do it to get that cash. And cash is very fun. Speaking of all the fun things, we are now doing live pre-show at 7.30 p.m. Eastern every single weeknight before trivia. I give you trivia answers, talk about the app, introduce you to cool content and people. All right, it is time for display trivia. Question one. Which of the following is not a stringed instrument? Ukulele, harp, blobfish. Which of the following is not a stringed instrument? Ukulele, harp, blobfish. Which is not a stringed instrument? Hmm, don't we mean strong instrument? Or am I just being a little high strung about grammar here? Look, grammar is hard. Is it who or whom? Whom's to say? I find grammar is a lot like math. When in doubt, go with your gut. Huh, that's funny. My gut always says poutine, like without fail. Well, I'm nothing if not consistent and consistency is key here in trivia. A good way to be consistent, warm up. And that goes for playing the uke or the harp. I've never seen anyone play a blobfish, which makes me think we need more blobfish representation in films and TV. Question two. All of the following are types of academic degrees in the United States except JD, PhD, VD. All of these are types of academic degrees in the United States except JD, PhD, VD. Now for most people, these aren't even first or even second degrees. Usually a doctorate is gonna give you that third degree, which is to say when it comes time to pay the bill, oh, that burns, yeah. You're gonna need some ointment for that third degree burn or just a couple hundred thousand dollars. And where better to start than with winning some free cash tonight? The only thing on this list that's not a doctoral degree is still probably gonna cause some burning, at the very least some itching. A JD is a Juris Doctorate or a law degree and a PhD is just a plain old doctor of philosophy, but a VD, well, much like these other degrees, it does require some testing. Question three. An earring that hangs in the shape of a loose circle is typically referred to as a hoop, a barbell, a tassel. An earring that hangs in the shape of a loose circle is typically referred to as a hoop, a barbell, a tassel. Any of these on the list ear ringing a bell for you? Have you ever thought about that word, earring? Love a word that sounds exactly like what it is. A ring for your ears. Leaves all the guesswork out of the equation. And it begs the question, why don't other objects have such simple names? Why aren't bracelets wrist rings? Why don't we call toes foot fingers, pants, leg shirts? See? The type of earring we're referring to, of course, is a hoop. There it is. <laughs> Y'all slam dunked that one. Question four. If you are shaking with mirth, what emotion are you experiencing? Anger, depression, amusement. If you are shaking with mirth, what e emotion are you experiencing? Anger, depression, amusement. 
shaking with mirth. Not to be confused with shaking with myrrh, which is one of the gifts the wise men apparently brought Jesus for his birthday in the Bible. What is myrrh, even? And why are we giving it to a baby? A baby wants teething rings and to mush her veggies into her high chair tray, not myrrh. Did the wise men even look at the Pottery Barn Kids registry? Mary specifically asked for a Baby Bjorn baby bouncer in charcoal gray. You know what that would make me shake with? Oh, not mirth, no. Frustration, probably. Arguably the opposite of mirth, because mirth is amusement. What I hope to inspire in all you display bees. Question five. All of British singer Adele's albums are named after what? Her lucky number at the time, her age when she wrote them, the number of songs in the album. All of British singer Adele's albums are named after what? Her lucky number at the time, her age when she wrote them, the number of songs on the album. Fabulous news! After teasing us with some 30s projected onto the sides of certain facades in the UK, Adele recently revealed that we can expect a new album coming in November! Oh, that's so, babe. After the last album, I don't know if I can take another doozy from Adele. I mean, the last one had me experiencing every human emotion possible, from crying hysterically to full-on shower singing. Yep, those are the opposite ends of my emotional spectrum. But if you've kept up, you know that Adele's first album was 19, written and recorded when she was, yeah, guessed it, that age. Who else is ready for Dirty 30? Question six. Which of the following is not a meat-eating dinosaur? Allosaurus, Eotyrannus, Triceratops. Which of the following is not a meat-eating dinosaur? Allosaurus, Eotyrannus, Triceratops. I'm no meat-eating dinosaur, but I enjoy eating meat in the shape of dinosaurs. Yes, duh, I'm referring to dino chicken nuggets. And where on the box does it say that they're just for kids? Go ahead, look, I'll wait. Yeah, let me know when you find where it says that, but I'll keep waiting because it just doesn't say it. And yes, I'm an adult, but while I eat these, I reserve the right to call the ketchup T-Rex blood, okay? These nuggets might have been opposed. The dino's so nice, they named it thrice, kind of. Triceratops, try to chew on that. Question seven. Burettes, crucibles, and scupulas are devices you would most likely find where? Chemistry lab, a church, a gym. Burettes, crucibles, and scupulas are devices you would most likely find where? Chemistry lab, a church, a gym. Okay, is this trivia or I spy? You remember those books, right? They were a hot ticket item at the Scholastic Book Fair, more so than the erasers shaped like hamburgers, and that is saying something. For those of you who don't know I Spy, based on the game, were complex picture books with all sorts of hidden images, and they either led to hours of fun or complete and utter madness. Let me tell you, it is a fine line. But wait, I Spy with my little eye. The answer! A burette is a thin graduated cylinder, congrats grad. A crucible is a play by Arthur Miller, but also a container used for heating very warm liquids. And a scupula? Well, that's just a fancy way to get solids from one place to another. And a chem lab is where you're gonna find all of these items in one place. Question eight. This type of smooth indigenous nut is strung to make a traditional Pacific Islander neck ornamentation. Pikake, kukui, miley. This type of smooth indigenous nut is strung to make a traditional Pacific Islander neck ornamentation. Pikake, Kukui, Miley. These are probably most commonly seen on tourists when they arrive at their final island destination. Yeah, you get one of these, put around your neck, and then usually some sort of drink with an umbrella shoved into your hand. And that is how you know you're in a tropical paradise. Any questions? Nope, you shouldn't eat the umbrella, that is purely decorative. Any others? Ah yes, Hawaiian shirts are mandatory at all times. The luau begins promptly at five, I'll see you then. The necklaces that I am referring to are, of course, lays, and the wearing of them lends itself so generously to innuendo. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, no one's made that joke yet today. Most often, we see these made of tropical flowers, but certain lays are made from the kukui nut. Question nine. 
The shortening of these tips at the end of microscopic hereditary material is widely believed to be the cause of aging. Telomeres, chromosomes, deoxyribonucleic acid. Widely believed to be the cause of aging. Telomeres, chromosomes, deoxyribonucleic acid. I got a pro tip coming right at you. These tips, you're gonna wanna keep them nice and long, long and strong, baby. But how? Well, exercise for one thing. Lots of fruits and veggies, sleep, hugs, the list goes on, but mostly the hugs. Did you know you need a certain number of hugs per day just to feel safe? Well, what if you don't have anyone around you to give you a hug? This is what we call self-lug. Mmm, yeah, bring it on self, I'm a hugger. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe this hug is too much. Uh, hey, where do I log an HR complaint against myself? The tips of the genetic material, AKA the DNA that makes up your chromosomes are called telomeres. And it's time for the final question. It's Q10. Which of the following continents does not contain a country with an X in its name? North America, Africa, Europe. Which of the following continents does not contain a country with an X in its name? North America, Africa, Europe. Normally X marks the spot, but tonight not so much. Today we're looking for the spot on the globe where you'd come up short on an X. No X is here. And hey, uh, who does Mark think he is claiming that spot all for himself? Honestly, Mark, you need to work on your sharing. Maybe that's why you have so many X's. See what I did there? <laughs> Mark. While Mark and I might not ever, ever, ever be getting back together, you got it together with the right answer because North America claims Mexico and Europe claims Luxembourg. But there are no countries on the entire continent of Africa with an X in their name. And there's no X in winter. Y'all, you answer questions about music, jewelry, dinosaurs, geography. What don't you know? Seriously, I'm curious. What is your weakest category? Throw that in the chat. Maybe we'll make a whole game out of that tomorrow. I know something that some of you are weak at. Getting your profiles completed and posting on display. You need to do those things to claim your winnings now, okay? And don't forget, you can make money just by posting that original content. I'm also showing all kinds of content on my show this month to help get you some extra attention. So come back tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Eastern for our pre-show to find out how, plus get one of the answers for the game. You get an answer, you get an answer, you get an answer, you get an answer, but only if you tune in at 7.30, okay? Have a great night. I'll see you then. Bye. My work is fun.